Hello everyone, welcome to Return to Monkey Island. We're going to be starting this today. I played the first two games for the first time ever uh, in the past month, so that was fun to get ready for this because I was really, really interested in it and it looks super cool. I know that it has like a new art style that it was very mixed. I think it looks great. Uh, I know like Ron Gilbert, the, uh, the main person on this, <laughs> um, like quit Twitter because of the reaction to it and was getting all kinds of like just awful, awful things sent their way, so that is very, very unfortunate, but I think the art style looks pretty cute, but it's a big change, so, you know, I can understand why some people would like hey, it and some people wouldn't. Pirate scrapbook? It's filled with my adventures. So, um, I, I clicked on this because uh, the game told me when it started up, it's like, hey, if you need a reminder about things, why don't you click on this? I don't really think I need a reminder, but there might be some fun stuff in here, so why don't we regale ourselves with the past adventures of Guybrush? People that actually waited, like, However many years? What was it, 20? For this? Probably really need this. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a mighty pirate. Mighty pirate, Guybrush Threepwood. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. <laughs> Prepare to die. That's me, Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, In gosh. Days, you became a pirate by completing three trials to prove your worth. Oh, God, look at these dorks and the stupid poodles. Treasure hunting is important for any pirate. Mastering sword fighting was more a matter of wits than agility. Are the badges something different? So yeah, it looks like I can click on all kinds of different things here. Treasure hunting is important okay, for any so pirate. The, the little merit badges aren't anything. The pirate leaders were in charge of the three trials, acting as judge, jury, executioner, and devoted grog tasters. Wow, you can't be spilling that on your face, friends. That stuff like burns through cups. Now that I think about it, how did you drink it in the first place? This is when I met Elaine the love of my life. She was governor at the time. The test of thievery involved breaking into the governor's mansion. The security was heavy. Yep. Piranha took poodles. took an unexpected turn while I was working on the three trials. Elaine was kidnapped and taken to Monkey Island by the nefarious ghost pirate LeChuck. LeChuck thought he was in love with Elaine. I scraped together a crew. Carla, Otis, and Meat Hook joined me on my voyage to Monkey Island to save Elaine. That isn't how I remember uh, Otis looking, but uh, o Meat Hook and you look the same. But Otis looks different, I swear. My first ship was the Sea Monkey. I bought it at Stan's used ships with a letter of credit that I, um, sort of falsified. Uh, yeah, I remember doing that. Um, I also know that Stan is in this game, I believe, because, um, Apparently, if you pre-purchase the game, you get horse armor added to your inventory. Completely useless. Uh, it's a joke about the... what was it? It was Skyrim horse armor or was it Oblivion horse armor? Like one of the first DLCs that was incredibly stupid. And uh, yeah, I have that in my inventory because I pre-purchased it and Stan was the spokesperson for this magnificent, magnificent DLC. Um, it seems like, uh, because I know you are in the game based off of the Steam page, that you did manage to escape the coffin that I nailed you into, unfortunately. Monkey Island was a steaming volcanic mystery, covered with jungle and not found on any map. You had to brew a special potion just to find Monkey Island. I made some substitutions, but it got us there just the same. Yeah, I threw a pirate flag in there. There were some people living there who claimed to be cannibals, but I think it was just a show for the tourists. On the island was a gigantic monkey head statue with hidden catacombs underneath. Yeah, and I had to get the head of the navigator to get through them. LeChuck's ghostly ship was anchored in a lake of lava hidden beneath the island's surface. Why is this Q-tip here? The monkey head opened with a special oh. key that you stuck in its ear. Yeah, 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 no, that's the... <laughs> I was like, wait, why is this Q-tip here? And then I was immediately like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, that was the key. You stuck it in its ear, got all that earwax out. I met an old castaway there, Herman Toothrot. He and the locals wrote a lot of indignant letters to each other. And then Herman went and became a philosopher. We wound up back on Melee Island for the stunning conclusion to my first big adventure. I made it to the church just in time to stop the wedding. Or so I thought. That turned out Elaine already had everything under control. How does she do that? I defeated LeChuck and he basically exploded. Yeah, that was fun. It was the beginning of something magical. And then we get to part two, where things are absolutely not magical. In the good way, at least. Uh, these are from the time I went to find the treasure of Big Whoop. Yup. Remember, remember finishing this stuff off? Oh my god. The second game was, was 
a, a lot harder than the first one. People were definitely right about that. I met my good friend Wally, who makes maps, and I stole his monocle. Oh, good look time. at Wally. Look at Wally. Yo. The mysterious voodoo lady at the International House of Mojo taught me to make a voodoo doll, which came in handy more than once. Hey, I actually really like this art. It's definitely not for everyone's taste, but I, I, I kind of like it. Maybe it's because I, I like Paper Mario. This, they kind of look like origami characters almost. The map to the treasure had been torn into four pieces, which, let's face it, is about as piratey as it gets. Elaine always seems to know when I need her. Wait, that's Elaine? Wait, what, since when do you have black hair? You had red hair. Again, it came down to just me and LeChuck at the end. He was using magic, but then, so was I. Yup. One time, Elaine got turned into a statue. Well, LeChuck was behind it, of course. The guy never gives up. Wait, 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 what is this one? What? I thought it was only gonna, I thought this was gonna continue after the events of two. But I don't recall any of this. The fact that he turned her into a statue tells me LeChuck doesn't really love Elaine. He thinks of her as furniture. It was around this time that I met Murray, the allegedly all-powerful demonic skull, after a rousing sea battle. So this must be Monkey Island 3? I guess. I, I heard that uh, it only followed the events of the first two games, so I didn't play 3 in preparation for this. Interesting. Well, I mean, I, I'm, I guess I'm very glad I did this, like, kind of review thing then. I got eaten by a snake. I erupted a volcano on purpose. There's not a lot I wouldn't do for Elaine. I got buried alive. Things backfired on LeChuck because Elaine and I got married when it was all over. Game, set, matchmaker. This was a great day. Though in retrospect, we shouldn't have had the scum bar handle the catering. Oh god, the scum bar? Mm, it's either Elaine's wedding veil or my handkerchief. We got them to match. This is the daisy we stomped on together. The wedding traditions are weird. Elaine and me together forever. The daggers are symbolic of cutting through troubles, I think. I wrote a great haiku for the wedding invitation. Marley Threepwood. Wow, it really didn't seem like you two were going to get back together at the end of two. I don't know why you have to have candy-coated almonds at a wedding, but apparently you do. Oh man, this was that crazy time LeChuck teamed up with an Australian billionaire and tried to use a mystical talisman to make Elaine his bride. My god. Okay, so uh, this must be going through all of the games, right? But... As far as I understand, the story is still continuing after two. They might play, t like, they might, those other games aren't uncanonized now. It might just be like, oh, we're continuing at a different part, which is totally fine, too. The ultimate insult wasn't really ultimate or even an insult at all. Or was it? Everything started because they thought Elaine was dead, so they held an election to replace her. Interesting. LeChuck and I battled it out on a grand scale that time. A giant mech, really. I made a goofy monster out of prosthetic body parts. It didn't help with anything, but I had fun doing it. LeChuck and I battled it out on a grand scale that time. Oh, that then was the same. It was the time I accidentally let loose LeChuck's pox over the entire Caribbean. Or so it seemed. I had to wear a hook for a while. It came in handy. Oh, I want to see Guybrush. L L hook Guybrush. Morgan LeFlay betrayed me, even after we bonded inside a giant manatee. I should have trusted her less. Elaine wasn't fooled by LeChuck's human form any more than I was. I should have trusted her more. The death card doesn't usually represent literal physical death, except when it does. I went on trial for my life on four separate charges. I defended myself, of course. Oh, here's that voodoo doll from the end of my Big Whoop adventure. I defeated LeChuck with this, his leg came off as easy as tearing a loaf of bread. Yeah, I remember making that. Okay, so yeah, it does cover the other games too, so I kind of have had some of that filled in too, although I don't recognize some of the characters from uh, some of the other ones. Like I said, I've only played one and two, and I thought this one was continuing with that in mind, but I, I think it's like more like one and two, maybe... I, I don't know. I think this continues onward from two's story, but three and four and the other ones may take place, you know, 
at different parts of the timeline. It's probably all over the place. Note to self, get more paper for the rest of my adventures. Okay, that appears to be it. Alrighty, well, I think with that, after looking at the scrapbook, we can go ahead and hop in, I guess? So, all the story, all the fun, but with casual puzzles for the busy on-the-go player. More puzzles, harder puzzles, the full monkey for the pro. Adventure gamer who wants it all. I mean, I guess I'm gonna go hard mode. I guess I'm gonna go hard mode. This sounds, it's more like... All the story and all the fun, but with casual puzzles. More puzzles, harder puzzles, the full monkey for the pro adventure gamer who wants it all. I feel... I feel I should go hard mode? I wonder which one's like the intended experience here. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for the hard mode. Um, as far as I understand, the game does have a hint system, so if I ever get stuck, I can use that. But the casual mode seems like it just has like really easy puzzles, so... Hard mode it is! I think this is probably the best call. It's always hard to know when I'm recording day of. Prelude, an unexpected story begins. So the puzzles are still going to be nightmarishly difficult, huh? Please don't be harder than two. Take two was nuts. This, Ugh. Guybrush, come over here gently now. Remove my mask. Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything, just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids. You're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> here we are. What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry. <laughs> I found him. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on. Let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. It's so lifelike. I wonder if it's real. Nope, the Big Whoop Amusement Park. I need to turn on subtitles too. I will be doing that in a second as soon as I get an opportunity. Sorry boys, could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir! Come on, I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way. You have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No bullet. Wow. All right. Can I can I open the menu now? Game pause. Okay, okay. There we go. It's up there. All right. Hit me with it. So I'm amazed that subtitles were not on by default. Absolutely just amazed. Text, speech. Text plus speech, please. Thank you. Writer's cut, more blather, worse pacing? Interesting. Sound effects subtitles? Maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll keep that off for now, but... Yeah, usually games always have subtitles on by default. But, uh, nope. Alright, so yeah, we are continuing, uh, from, uh... scurvy dog that was bigger than my head. We're continuing from the Monkey Island 2 ending, and they're gonna try and explain what was going on there, so... We'll get some scurvy dogs, and then go play over there. Okay. Chucky has what good ideas. We do next? We gotta get some scurvy dogs. I, I can't believe you never had one. That reminds me, should I look at the controls? Let's see, Some what do we got here? Go have scurvy dogs with cheese inside. Interesting, interesting, LeChuck. Okay, buy scurvy dogs. Junior Mighty Pirates to-do list. Okay, we got it. Cool. So, I is for our inventory. Do we have the radial, like, context menu or whatever? I can press tab to highlight what's interactable. Alright, LeChuck, nobody cares. Jeez. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Pirate! Um... Hello? Boo! Ha! Ah, he's dead to the world! That pirate does not care about us. Check. So, there's not a context menu anymore? Did you I'm know guessing? you can keep a scurvy dog warm by sticking it in your armpit? That's disgusting, LeChuck. Please stop. So, uh, controls. Yeah, let's just make sure. So, highlight all objects, skip dialogue line, main action, secondary action, open inventory, to-do list, dialogue history, see map, scroll dialogue, okay, okay. So yeah, there's not a context menu anymore, I don't have to pick things up and stuff. I mean, the game 
is more modern now for sure, so I guess it makes sense. There was something kind of nice about the context menu, because you would have to try all kinds of different things with different objects, but uh, I definitely understand why they made the change. I was definitely confused when I first played the first Monkey Island, and I was just trying to click on things to pick things up, but it's like, no, you have to do specifically the pickup thing. Alright, so... Do I want to go muck around? Let's go hey, muck around. Chucky, get ready to run! I don't like visitors. Let's go next door and get scurvy dogs. All right, we're gonna go get scurvy dogs. I gotta explore. It's a video game. Ah, sounds real. Alrighty. So, what else do we got? What's this say? The words don't look like words, but there's a picture of a scurvy dog. We're gonna get a scurvy dog. Chill. What is in a scurvy dog? I'm mean, not oranges. I'm guessing. That's around the outhouse. It's locked. Maybe one of the shops has a key. Ooh. Hey, uh, Chucky, stand over here for a minute. Nah, I want to get scurvy dogs. Damn, it was going to work too. Exhibit removed. Aw. If it wasn't for those meddling scurvy dogs. This would be great for Apple Bobby. And there's the scary door where we, where we came out of when we entered our weird dream state after LeChuck cast that like spell or whatever the hell happened to me. Let's not go back there again. We'll just get yelled at. Yeah, let's get scurvy dogs instead. I'm hungry. So those, like, weren't even our parents, by the way. <laughs> Who was the skeleton that was in two? The two skeletons. And in we're France, They call a scurvy dog a chien score butt. I see. Thank you. So we're actually siblings, but those weren't our parents at all, actually. Yeah, they probably had a mess deciding what they were going to do with the story after that ending for two, so... Let's go. There's the key. Uh. Looks like they need a swabby in here. I'll never be the ship swabby. That is really, really low. I don't know, Guybrush. It says, return outhouse key when finished, or else. They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> oh god, awful. Please, don't do it. Order a couple of scurvy dogs. How much are scurvy dogs? Order some chicken foot fry. Ew! I can stand on my head without using my hands. Wow, thanks, LeChuck. Once again, just magnificent. How much are the scurvy dogs? Scurvy dogs are only a half piece of eight. That's money that grown-ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. So what, you need a piece of four? Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure, if you give me a piece of eight. Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. I guess never mind. Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. Yeah, I was about to say, that's probably where we're going next, aren't we? How much are those chicken foot fries? Chicken foot fries are two pieces of eight. Wow, chicken feet are expensive. All right, we'll snag the key then. I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. So wait, can I can 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 I keep the peg leg after I use the key? Oh, it is connected. Yeah, they did say that. It unlocks the outhouse. Okay, so find a coin, find outhouse key. Got it. Look at us. We're making progress. This is much faster progress than I made in uh, Monkey Island One when I first started. It's locked. Good thing I've got the key in my pocket. So you do. You are actually going to make me use it. All right. Good, Good to know. You unlocked it. Oh, fantastic. What was that, root beer? Read the sign. Please wash hands before leaving outhouse. Yeah, sure, let's wash our hands. I'm not touching that gunk. It seems more like something Chucky would do. Where should we look? All over. Do you see any coins? What's well, this little metal thing? It's probably that. So we're gonna click on everything. Search for coins in the pile of filth, yes. I don't see any coins and I'm not putting my hands in that. Are you not? 
Uh, so that's Chucky. Let's go to the grate. Mm hmm. Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way. You do it. Okay. There's a rat in there? Ew. Alright, well, this little metal thing is probably a coin, right? It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. I thought it was a piece of eight at first. It looks just like a piece of eight. A fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. And it's beautiful. Now wash your hands. Hey, Chucky! It says you're supposed to wash your hands. I never wash my hands. Remind me not to touch you. I dare you to take a drink of this. No way, I'm not doing that. I want to see two scurvy dogs at the same time. Well, uh, what if I double dared you then? Double, tr double, double, triple dog dare. I double dare you to take a drink of this. Don't want to get sick before I get my scurvy dog. I double dog dare you to take a drink of this. I'll do it for a million pieces of eight. You will? No. I triple dipple dare you to drink this. I'll do it if you do it first. What's that over there? Where? Okay, I took a drink. You did not. Did so. Did not. Did so. Do it again then. Oh yeah, 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 no. I, I'll definitely drink it. What is this? In the back. I can feel it with my tongue. Wow, thanks for thanks for letting me know, Chucky. Thank you so much, really. I really needed to know that. So is this a shit water? What is this? Okay, you don't have to drink, but I dare you to wash your hands. Fine. Oh, you're actually gonna do it. Ew. Disgusting. Your turn. Ew. Ew. You actually did it! Wow, what, no, not in the poo water, don't do that. Your turn. No way. Your turn. No way. Haha, uh -huh, LeChuck, you know get wrecked. Won't smell. won't smell if you don't wash them, is that so? How can my feet smell if they don't have a nose? Alright, let's get some scurvy dogs, let's go. Hey, I got a slug. How are you? Uh, Looks like they need a swabby in here. Uh, order some, uh, scurvy dogs. Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight. Oh yeah, I do actually need to use it. What can we get with this? Ew. Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs if you want. Perfect! I want a chicken fries. Ew. What are you getting? What? Just kidding. Here's yours. Yeah, those look wonderful. Yum! What do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? At home, I've got a collection of old scurvy dog sticks that fills a whole shoebox. Do you? Did you just stuff those in your ass? That seems very painful. So we got a scurvy dog, we mess around and explore and find our real parents. Yes, those were not our real parents. I want to bite it. Take bite. Gotta heal this up. This is the perfect food. I don't think it is, Skybrush. I really don't think it is. Can I please, as a kid, walk up to someone and say, I'm Skybrush Sleepwood, prepare to die. <laughs> I really want to. That's Hi. That's my friend D. Hey D. Hey Chucky, what are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. There. Perfect. See you around the park, Sidheads! Wow, your name is ripe for a D's nuts joke. Um, alright. Uh, mess around and explore. Check out the anchor. Beat Chucky in a race. Feed the duck. Add some sauce to my scurvy dog. Practice sword finding. Find a, find a four-leaf clover. Make a wish at the wishing well. And of course, find our real parents, you know. So let's mess around and explore. Talk about the anchor. That's a cool anchor. <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. D, 
Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat, shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying to board another ship. They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more damage that way. Then people noticed what happened when you missed the other ship and hit the sea bottom instead. The current bow-shaped design is actually less effective than the sharper V-shaped design that was popular last century. But the older design went out of fashion after sailors started to think the letter V was bad luck. You can still find the old kind around sometimes, but collectors have grabbed most of them. On a modern anchor, if you look close, you can tell that one side is a little larger than the other. I'm absolutely I listening to all this. Plummeting where the anchor goes down too evenly, and then it doesn't catch well on the bottom. The little flanges at the tips are at different angles to make it twist on the way down for the same reason. Most anchors these days are made of iron, and you have to recast them like twice a year because they rust. About 30 years ago, somebody thought of a way to get around that by making them out of wood instead. All kinds of people invested a lot of money in these wooden anchor companies. But the only way they could keep them from floating was to attach another anchor. And so they gave up and went back to the old way. The word anchor comes from the Sanskrit word nagara, meaning city. They're called that because when you stop in the middle of the ocean, it's like you've made port at an invisible city. Thought you were done for a sec. Yeah, I'm kind of an expert on anchors. I read a lot. <laughs> there we go. We're good. We made it. Good job, Guybrush. If you missed anything, you can press a uh, comma to see previous lines. I don't- I didn't miss anything. Don't you worry about that video game. We saw it all- oh god. Okay, it's gonna make me. Press down arrow to see more previous lines, up arrow to go to the next line, and escape to exit. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 that works about how I'd expect. Okay, well thank you for that, D. For that wonderful, wonderful explanation on the history of anchors. Very, very much appreciated. I was gonna sit there and listen to it all, all right? I got time. I can throw up a thing on screen for people that don't want to see it. Hey, Chucky! Wanna race? You're on! I'll officiate! Eat my Three, dust, nerd. Two, one, go, go, Guybrush! Uh, eat it, nerd! I win! Oh, man, and you hit the tree. That sucks. Sucks to suck, I guess. All right. Later, nerd. Um, what do we got here? So, I checked out the anchor, I beat Chucky in a race, I gotta feed the duck. Where is duck? Where is duck? Duck? Take some bread. I'm gonna steal your bread. Hey! Hands off! Oh, who cares? You're gonna feed it to the duck anyway, I'm just gonna do it. That's our bread! I don't give a shit. Stop it! No. That's our bread! Ask me how much I care! Oh my gosh. Horrible people won't let me steal uh, their bread. I wonder what's in the basket. Wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days have no regard for personal property. And no respect for your elders. I have half a mind to give you a piece of my mind. And I've got the other half. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Uh-huh. Yeah, blah, you two blah, share blah, a brain cell. Blah. Got it. Oh, Yep, you're damn right. Okay, there's somebody hanging out over there. Practice sword fighting? Ask D to practice sword fighting. Let's ask D. Do you want a sword fight with me? You don't look very challenging. Oh, I know how to sword fight, believe me. It's all about the insults. I wonder where this path goes. Get up there and sword fight? Do you no, want no, a sword no, not you. With me? You don't look no. very challenging. I got I I'm trying to click here. Practice. There we go. Gimme. Let's be frank. You can never hope to beat me. Because <laughs> it's a yep. You'll never catch up to my level. Perfect. I win. I win. Uh -uh. <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun. You didn't even use any good insults, Guybrush. Come on. You got to start insulting Chuck here. All right. What is this? What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. Okay. You know, we gotta sauce it. Grab. Use it on ketchup. You can touch the ground with your scurvy dog. No, of course not. Gross. You've rubbed, you cleaned your hands in shit water. Don't even talk to me. I want 
to feed the duck? Uh, four-leaf clover. I found a four-leaf clover. Awesome. There was still one left. Come on. Get wrecked. Do not pick the four-leaf clovers. <laughs> As if. Yeah, I'll pick them if I damn well please, all right? Uh, okay, so what's this sign say? Just probably don't feed the duck? Don't feed the duck. Yeah. So, can I talk to you dorks and get some bread? I also want to get that ketchup, but... Um... Hmm. How do I get rid of Chucky? Because Chucky's gonna judge me if Chucky sees me scrape ketchup up off the floor like some kind of animal. Hey, the duck. Make a wish at the wishing well. Where was the wishing well? I didn't see a wishing well. It wasn't over here. Well, I need that ketchup for my scurvy dog. So, what if I talk Excuse to you two? Me. Yes? Could we have some of your bread to feed the duck? I don't think so. We brought it for ourselves. You know, you're not supposed to free feed bread to them, I don't think. I think it's bad for them. I think I've heard that before. Excuse me? Yes? Will you pretend to be our parents again? What do you mean, again? Run along and find your real parents. Yeah, you two are kind of shit anyway, you know that? So what could I do here to, like, distract you two? So I had the four-leaf clover. What does this do for me? Ever find one. Now we're like Fry. We we have incredible luck. Of course, Fry's was like a, what, an eight-leaf clover or some shit like that? So what am I doing? Where am I going? You won't let me pick up the ketchup. So let's go over here. Oh, hey, a coin. Maybe I can buy it. Or we know we're going to toss the coin into the well. That's that's right. I should throw my coin in and make a wish. Sure should. Maybe I should throw this down the wishing well. Uh-huh. Uh, I wish Chucky had a mustache. Wish D would disappear. Wish another scurvy dog. I wish we could speak backwards. I wish we could speak backwards. Or what is... Yes, you know. Yes, what? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Wishes do come true. That was fun. Aw, oh, man. It wore off. Too bad. You made more sense than usual. God, Rex. Jesus. D out here slaying people. Feed the duck and add some sauce. So, how, hmm, how do I... Hmm. How do? How does one feed Are duck? We done here? We might not be able to come back if we head this way. No, I gotta feed the duck and shit. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. Can I just pick up the ketchup? I can. I can just pick it up. Scurvy dog. Well, now I you don't care. Scurvy dog that was bigger than my head. Why would you care if I scraped my scurvy dog on the ground if I picked the ketchup off the ground anyway? Same difference. Boom. Beautiful scurvy dog. Now I just gotta find out how to feed this duck. How do? This place is fun! That's our bread! I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days. You have no regard for personal Aha. property. That's how I did it. How rude. Yeah, I had to get them to talk, and then I could grab the bread. Haha, <laughs> now I will go over here and feed this duck with definitely my bread, not your bread. I stole it from that couple. Yup, just like the hero we are. There you go, ducky. I'm a genius. Look at me, my checklist is completely finished except for finding my real parents. Alrighty, so what happens if we go through the gate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god, it's Guybrush. Hey, Dad. Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. Having fun? Yeah. We got scurvy dogs. Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures. We just did Big Whoop. Big Whoop. Oh, boy. That takes me back. I like it when Chucky asked me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun. But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. 
kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding the secret of Monkey Island. Is this a long story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go uh, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. And here we go. So Guybrush, so that was just your kid. Okay. That was wild. I actually didn't expect that. I actually thought that was Guybrush. And here we are. We're back. Deep in the Caribbean. The island of Melee. So we are going back to Melee. Interesting. I have seen like nothing about this game besides the art. So going in very blind. Listen to that. Yeah, Ron Gilbert. Fantastic. Okay. Well, yeah, that the 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 um what's the word? Uh the uh oh god. What is the word? The the like retelling of all the games before this. That was very very nice to have. Kind of a refresher on everything and even gave me some context for some of the other games that I didn't have. Um like I said, I probably will play Monkey Island 3 at some point, but I just couldn't play it before this came out. So but, yeah, this is pretty fun so far. Those puzzles in that area were quite easy. But I imagine they were, because that was, like, the tutorial area, I'm guessing. So. The Dinky Game Engine. <laughs> it's the Dinky Island Game Engine. Amazing. Well, it's gonna be very, very neat to go back to Melee after all... Oh, well, I, I say all this time, but... It's so much time for Guybrush and everyone else that played this game, it's like a few weeks for me. I can't imagine people's reaction to finally going back to the island of their childhood game. That must be super, super cool. <laughs> I'm kinda jealous I didn't get to experience it like that. Part 1, A Friendly Place. So we're going right back to Melee, we're gonna go to the chapel and the crazy secret door behind the jail that... Uh, there you are! Feels good to be back on Melee Island. The hub of pirating in the Caribbean, where every good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling. Or sailing in this case. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Remember me? Haven't Red seen you in a while, Threepwood. What have you been up to? Oh, you know, freebooting mostly, swashing buckles and so on. But now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, you're sailing with LeChuck. What? LeChuck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? Ah, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. Ship's just here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Well, anyway, no. I'm not sailing with LeChuck. You know my history with him. Alrighty. Well, I think we're gonna go ahead and save, like, right here. Because, uh, we need to end this first episode off if I want to get it, uh, up today. So, yeah, this is really, really cool so far. Very, very excited to see where this story goes and everything. And I'm sure tons and tons of people are excited to finally get their hands on a new Monkey Island game after so long. So, hope you've enjoyed this first episode, and I'll see you next time for some more.